Don't miss the awesome Naruto stories my sister creates. Her last channel was hacked, so to stay in the loop, please subscribe to her new channel. It would mean a lot to her, and you won't regret it. Hello to all lovers of Lemon Scenes. I invite you all to my boosty so you can watch your favorite Naruto What If stories in complete comfort. A subscription to Naruto Lemon. The first video with a full lemon is already on my boosty channel. Dare. Unknown space. In an unknown space there was a red-haired guy about 17 to 18 years old. He had blue eyes, like the cloudy sky. There are three parallel scars on his face, similar to mustaches, which adds to his predatory features. He had a well-developed body. Height 175 centimeters. He was now wearing a black shirt with a black t-shirt underneath. Black loose pants, black shinobi boots. He has already been in this place for about five minutes, this place reminded him of the place where he talked with his spiritual father, the sage of the six paths or Hagoromo Atsutsuki. He was surprised that he looked like he did when he was 18 years old, but he is now 25. Here, a man of about 40 appeared in front of him. With white skin, eyes slightly open. There was also a goatee. In his hands was a black staff. It was the sage of the six paths or Hagoromo Atsutsuki. That he was spiritually the father of the red-haired Uzumaki. Hello, my son, you are probably wondering why you are here. The elder said to his son. Hello, father, and why am I here? Red-haired said, to which the sage was in no hurry to answer. You are here my son because I wanted it so. I called you here because I want to tell you that you must go to another world. Where you should help your alternative version, which is a girl. And you will be Karama there, Hagoromo said, after quite a long time. And Naruto for not interrupting him. After what was said, Hagoromo gasped, a little. Father, why? Uzumaki said, having calmed down, he asked the question that was spinning in his head. Since Karama, the other world will not be friends with her. He doesn't want to be friends with her because of his hatred of people and pride, answered Hagoromo's questions. Why can't you make it so that Karama becomes friends with her? Red-haired said, questioningly. To which the sage only sighed because he had tried to do this many times. Not everything, it's just that he is very stubborn and will not be friends with her. And I wouldn't bother you if I hadn't already tried to persuade Karama, Hagoromo said. Well, okay, I'll become the Karama there, but what will happen to Karama himself and the Karama of this world? Red-haired asked what will happen to Karama. With Karama of this world, he, like other bijou of this world, will go to the space created by me, for their good life. And about Karama, of that world, he also leaves with the bijou of this world. Hagoromo explained. To which Uzumaki nodded understandingly. Okay, father, when do I leave, Naruto said, questioningly. At this, Hagoromo grinned and said. Now, the sage said this, and red-haired was about to say something when suddenly he plunged into darkness. Space of Seal. Naruto woke up in a cage and realized how he got there. And he began to think what gap he fell into, if at the moment of sealing, then he got caught hard. And if, at a moment later, then he was lucky, but he understood that he was at the moment immediately after the sealing. And what should he do here now for about fifteen years? He knew that he would see the appearance of his altar when she grew up. Well, approximately this will happen in two to three years. He thought what color the water would be, red or yellow. This was his main dilemma. And then, only the skin color is milky or tanned like the guy's biological father. Well, as a biological father, now Minato has nothing in common with him, just like his mother Kushina. Apart from their appearance, they have nothing in common with each other. And then my head began to split with pain, after a while the pain went away. Memories of Karama's past came to him. 
his father didn't tell him this. He learned a lot. As now, he lived for himself, did not bother anyone, when suddenly he was taken into Genjutsu by Madara for a battle with Hashirama, where he lost. Then Mito Uzumaki sealed him into herself, she chained him to a stone ball. And she took his chakra when she wanted. Then Mito stood up, but did not give him freedom and sealed him into Kushina Uzumaki, of course he was chained to a stone ball. But she didn't take his chakra. How he sat in print, but when he was giving birth, he tried to break free. But alas, he couldn't. But, the so-called Madara was able to use Genjutsu. He was then released from the Genjutsu, but continued to attack Kanoha. And after a while he was chained and he saw Kushina Uzumaki and Minato Namikaze with a yellow-haired girl in their arms. And then they sealed it into it. And from the memories I realized that her name was Naruko. Ah, do I have to sit here for about 15 more years or what? But I think I will see the real world for the first time in 13 years on the mission of the Land of Waves. Naruto said, this is into the void. But now he knew for sure that she was blonde and had tanned skin. And he began to think hard about how he could introduce himself from this world to Akemi. A few minutes later, he realized that until about the fourth shinobi world war he would be Kyubi, only then Kurama, and after the battle with Kagaya was over, then Akemi would then introduce himself as Naruto. He finished there, as he had thirteen long years ahead of him. He understood that he would often treat Akemi. He remembered that the figure of his father appeared in his mind and words flew through his head. Don't be afraid, son, I was able to make it so that people wouldn't want to rape her. His father's passing words calmed him down considerably. At least you don't have to see a little girl being sexually raped. Time skipped 13 years. Needless to say, how many times she was attacked by civilians, or for him, useless trash, as he nicknamed them because they were stupid and weak. There were almost no clan members because many clan members were smart enough to understand that she was not the QB. But there were also stupid ones. Or those who lost loved ones to the QB. He saved her from death many times, creepily. Her character is more similar to Kushina than to Minato, perhaps he, I won't call them, is his parents. Now he felt that Akemi was wearing out his anger. He realized it was time and began to release a little of his chakra and increased her emotion of anger. And after a couple of moments, he began to see through the girl's eyes. He sees the body of Sasuke Uchiha, smiley face, who was looking at the floor, he thought what a weakling. And he made an angry face and ran at a fairly fast speed towards the umbu of the mist, and with one blow hit him so hard that the umbu felt his bones cracking. And then the umbu, at a rather slow speed for Naruto, ran away from Naruto. Naruto saw there how Kakashi pierced the heart of the umbu before reaching Zabuza. But, at one moment, he pierces the heart of the umbu or Haku Yuki. Here you can hear clapping of hands and they look to the side, the sound of clapping. There was a short guy in business clothes and round glasses. Behind him is a large group of bandits. It was he who clapped his hands. His name was Gato. And then he began to say. How do you say, the one who was called the demon of the hidden mist is so weak and worthless? Shorty spoke with disgust kill the guys and leave the girls. Gato told his gang and they ran to the side of Naruko and her team. Give me a kunai, Kakashi, Zabuza said. Kakashi wordlessly threw a kunai at him, and he caught them with his teeth and ran towards the gang of bandits. Oh, Naruto, that extra one also ran at them and started tearing them with his claws. At first, Kakashi wanted to stop Akemi's body, but realized that he could not because of the Kyubi chakra. And a couple of minutes later the battlefield was covered in corpses. Naruto walked closer to Kakashi and released Akemi's body from control. Zabuza is in front of Gato and he looks at him, he backs away from Zabuza and said something to him, but he pierced his neck and fell to the ground without strength. Since Zabuza was bleeding heavily and very tired after the battle with Kakashi, 
the bandits also beat him many times with sharp weapons. He stood only out of willpower. After he fell, he spat out the kanai and kakashi wheeze that he looked at Akemi's condition and realized that everything would be just fatigue, exhaustion and burns from the kyubi chakra, which would heal quickly, but otherwise everything was fine. He walked up to Zabuza and asked. What Zabuza? Asked the copy ninja. Bury me next to that guy. Zabuza said his last wish and died. Okay, Kakashi said, and walked up to Zabuza's body and waited next to the umbu. And he decided that tomorrow the team would bury them. Akemi seal space. Naruto was happy that he finally saw the world after 13 years. And he got the opportunity to see Akemi's memories and began to look through them. I'm too lazy to describe them, just imagine the life of Naruto from the canon, only instead of Naruto, Akemi. And yes, Akemi does not have any relationship with Sasuke Uchiha, I like to write his name like that and right now I have three hours, don't blame mistakes, and didn't kiss Sasuke after the genin exam, even though it was accidental. He knew that her life was not easy, she was almost completely brainwashed by the will of fire, after which he decided that after the war. Will remove all attachment to Kanoha and open his eyes to the world, without rose-colored glasses. Stupid, Makaka, and the stupid will of fire. He thought so. And he closed his eyes and began the process of restoring Akemi. And he decided to explore her consciousness, otherwise he became too bored. Space inside Akemi seal. Now Naruto has taken on a human form, his appearance changed after becoming a fox. His human form now has fox ears and nine tails. The tails, like the ears, were different in color when he was in his bijou form, they were red and with white tassels. The eyes now have a vertical pupil and a red scara with an iris. His mouth now has fangs. Fingers have claws instead of nails. And now he walked along the corridors and saw that some rooms were blocked. They were blocked with seals with the seal pattern of the eight trigrams. But, he guessed that it was because of the seal. She doesn't give him the opportunity to go there. Not finding anything interesting, he entered the cage again and took on the form of a biju. And fell asleep. Time skip. Now Naruto was looking through Akemi's eyes, this ability appeared after the blonde used the bijou chakra for the first time. Now he saw Jiraiya throwing Akemi off the cliff into the abyss. He must save her and himself. Because of this, he summoned her to the seal space. He knew that Akemi was now in the main corridor, Naruto began to make sounds to attract the attention of his Jinchuriki. She began to walk along the corridor leading to his room. Closer, Biju said, and when she approached, he stuck out his claws. She jumped back in fear. Brave girl. So you are the one who has this red chakra. You're a fox, but since you live here, you pay rent, and the price is your chakra, she said boldly, and Naruto laughed to himself. Brave girl, few survive from my chakra, Biju said and launched a grain of his chakra towards her. Real world. The only thing Akemi thought about when she returned to the world was this summoning technique. Come on, if I don't call the toad, I'll die. Akemi thought, Naruto just said to himself. You're right, Naruto thought, carrying these words inside the blonde's head. And she was able to successfully summon Gamabunta using the Kyubi chakra. And she was able to save Red Haired and herself. Time skip. Now Red Hair was watching Akemi learn to control his chakra. He was surprised that she mastered his chakra quite easily. Even Mito, in his memories, could not control his chakra like that. Although, of course, he also quickly mastered Karama's chakra, but he gives a million Ryo for being slower to master it, Karama's chakra. Ha huh, interesting, you are Akemi Uzumaki Namikaze or better Kamikaze. I thought about it, Naruto, while falling asleep. Time skip. Now Redhaired was watching the fight between Akemi and Niji. He realized that Niji was the same as in his world. Tied to fate. 
Niji uses 64 palms of heaven on the blonde, and she uses his chakra. Niji with the Byakugan, trying to understand who the original is, Hyuga thought that the blonde did not know how to distribute chakra between clones and thought that the one who has the most chakra is the original. But, no, the clone he hit with the palm of heaven simply dissipated. And suddenly he gets hit in the jaw and loses. End. I'm too lazy to describe further because of this, I'll move on, in the next part I'll go straight to the battle between Akemi and Sasuke. I changed Naruko's name to Akemi. I'm too tired of always seeing Naruko, Naruko. Akemi is more original, and I don't get confused. In other parts, I changed Naruko's name to Akemi. Definition for words or phrases in my fanfiction. Pase de tiempo, time pass, from Spanish, via Google Translate. Konnichiwa. Anyone who has read my blog knows that I will end this fanfic in a short form. Before this I had a lot of plans for this fanfic. I discarded them, or rather forgot. And the part begins with Akemi's death and her meeting with Hagaroma. Everything that happened before is all according to the canon, but with some different details. I'll probably redo the previous parts by half or in part and add a new one. And then the previous parts are small. I'll add a part from Akemi's POV. But that's later, I don't know when, but definitely not soon. Russian is not my native language. Even though I live in a big city, Russia. This is why there are and will be errors. Beginning. Space between reality and illusion. At the moment, in an unknown space there was a girl, she had long blonde hair gathered in two ponytails, blue eyes, a sunny smile, and on her cheeks there were symmetrical stripes of antennae, three on each. Small in stature and quite bright in appearance. Picture for picture in, comments at the end of the fanfic. Now she was in a space similar to her inner world, where, in her opinion, a large rug for fleas lives. Or Karama no Yoko, her partner. Only, for some reason, there were no walls or ceiling. Akemi has been here for about seven minutes. The girl herself did not understand why she was here. After standing like this for another two minutes, an old man appeared before her. With pale hair and the same goatee. There was wisdom and the rinnegan in the eyes. From which the girl stood up in a strong stupor. After a couple of seconds, she came out of this state and continued to examine the man. He wore a full-length white kimono with a pattern of six black magatama around the high collar, and sandals or slippers on his feet. There were black balls behind my back and she just noticed that he was levitating in a lotus position. Hello, Akemi Uzumaki. My name is Hagaroma Atsutsuki, and for you Shinobi, better known as the Sage of the Six Paths, said the man who introduced himself. Hearing his name, the blonde was taken aback. Old man. How do you know me? Where is Karama? What other Sage of the Six Paths? She bombarded Hagaromo with questions. Hearing this, he shook his head. Akemi, calm down, I'll answer your questions. The answer to the first question is, I know you because. How can I not know the name of my youngest daughter's reincarnation? Answer to the second question, where is Karama? Then he will soon be with you again, he was printed out of you, or to be more precise, it was made by Uchihamadara. The answer to the third question, I am Hagoromo Oetsutsuki and I appear in the world of Shinobi, like a myth or for someone a god. But now is not about that. You are the reincarnation of my youngest daughter Ashuramaru, I don't care about Hashirama, and your friend Sasuke Uchiha is the reincarnation of my eldest son Indra. The sage answered questions and said about his children, and after taking a rather long break, you need to save the world from my mother Kagaya Oetsutsuki. He began to talk about his story and his mother, and also about his sons. So super grandfather sage, Sasuke and I need to defeat your mother and seal it? The blonde asked after listening. Hagoromo responded with a nod. Yes, we have already started talking, 
it's time for you to return, and half of Karama will be in you. But it's time for you to get some of my power to seal my mother. And in order to seal my mother, you and Sasuke Uchiha need to press your palms with seals against her and use the planetary destruction technique, Chibaku Tensei, Hagoromo answered. Saying that Akemi should leave already. But before that, I explained how to lock up my mother. The demolition team burst into Author San's room. Now, we'll talk about Naruto. Naruto has the maximum of his strength, and to be more precise, he has Kurama's chakra, already his, his chakra before the transition to this world and the sage's chakra, two parts yin and yang. But he himself limits it so that Akemi doesn't get torn apart. And about the fact that in what body is the scarlet-haired fox? He can transfer his consciousness into the body of a dark fox or vice versa into a light fox. The power that remained in the body of the light fox moves with the consciousness of the original, and the body that he left, the consciousness of a cast of Naruto's chakra remains there. After he merges into one fox, there will only be one Naruto. He cannot be in a full human form in the separated state and cannot go into any form except a fox, Author San was a little scared by this. When he came out of his state of shock, the clearing team left. Uh, I'll add and answer two questions myself. What is how Naruto's power moves? Then. Go to Popa. How did Naruto still have Yin and Yang Chakra? There are two additional questions in this question. The answer to the first, he received the other half of the sage's chakra, he took the Rinnegan and Sharingan, and the power of the seal from Sasuke. How did you not lose them? Go, Hagoromo didn't take them. Super grandfather, I understand, the girl answered. Then if you understand, press your palm to mine. Having listened to the man, she touched the sage's palm. The blonde felt a slight burning in her palm and now you have to go back. The blonde wanted to say something. But she began to plunge into reality and the moment, and she was again on the battlefield. Karama. Yellowhaired screamed in consciousness. Girl, don't scream, I'm not as good as my bright side. A rough voice answered. Bright side? Akemi asked, perplexed. Your father divided me into two parts, light and dark, I am the dark part. Naruto answered, he moved his consciousness to the dark part. I don't care what's in Naruto's canon, I found out earlier. Kind of. Okay, I understand. Said the fox Jinchuriki after listening. Fr, I'm not sure. Kurama replied with a snort. I'm terribly lazy to describe the battle with Madara, the betrayal of Black Zetsu, the appearance of Kagaya and almost the entire battle with this goddess. Why the time skip? Until the end of the battle with Kagaya. Time pass. Akemi, Sasuke, Kakashi and Sakura were able to catch Kagaya Atsutsuki making a mistake. Because of which, they had a chance to seal the mother of the Sage of Six Paths. And so Akemi and Sasuke reached out to her with their palms with seals, Akemi with a month, and Sasuke with a crescent. But for now, they wanted to touch the woman, she wanted to leave at speed, but Sakura struck from above with her hand soaked in chakra. I always had a question about how a clanless shinobi was able to harm the goddess. The pink-haired fool has a small reserve of chakra, and she wasted the chakra in the power of the hundred seal, it seems so or not. I don't fully remember how long ago I watched the anime to save the Sharinganist from the desert world. H.A.A. Okay. Because of this, blonde and black-haired were able to touch white-haired. Planetary destruction technique, Akemi and Sasuke shouted. The bark of the white-haired root world flew towards Kagaya. Ironic, to say the least. Sasuke, Sakura, Kakashi-sensei, we were able to seal it, the blonde said happily, right now, wait. The girl said sharply and ran to the sleeve of Kagaya's clothes, which contained a black substance. No. You destroyed my plan, which I thought through and carried out for 500 years. I have to think over a new plan to save Moem again. 
This black shit, shouted in anger. And what about Akemi, and Akemi, grabbed this substance and looked at the mini version of the moon, where the goddess was still sealed. Since you love your mommy so much, then be with her. The blonde said calmly, throwing the sleeve with Kuro Zetsu towards his mother. Zetsu was still screaming, and in his eloquent screams there were curses that it was necessary to kill her mother and father. A long time ago. To which Akemi snorted. And she ran to her friends with a thirty-two tooth smile and her hand raised with her thumb raised. Now for sure, we have defeated this woman. The blonde said, she mainly shows false emotions because she is far from stupid and knows that Sasuke wants, to use her body to restore his clan with stronger genes, and then the Uchiha clan will never be destroyed. At that moment, nine bijou began to appear in Kagaya's root world. And after a couple of moments, they, bijou and Team 7, disappeared. Appearing in a circle of past Kages, resurrected by Hagaroma Atsutsuki. And the culprit of the call himself stood in the middle of the circle, he was in his signature pose. Hello, we were able to summon you from my mother's root world using the summoning technique. Said the sage, clapping his hands. Akemi, hearing this, looked around and saw her father, and ran towards them, without saying anything to the remaining members of their group of conscripts. I don't remember at all what they said, and I don't care. Daddy, the blonde shouted, hugging the man. He answered and hugged her. Quiet, Akemi. No need to shout so loudly. Blonde Senior said soothingly, hugging his daughter, whom he had previously hugged when she was less than a day old. Dad, are you leaving? Akemi asked Minato naively. Yes, Akemi. Be good and smart, and most importantly don't drink alcohol. I'll tell your mother what you are like. Blonde answered. The yellow-haired woman nodded. Dad, I didn't mean to drink alcohol like Aero-sensei, who always drank. And I noticed that Aero-sensei forgot a lot after drinking. She said smiling and darkening at the words about her sensei. Who is Aero-sensei? Is this Jiraiya? And if he is, then why are you talking so sadly about him? He asked, noticing the expression on his daughter's face. Dad, Aero sensei is Jiraiya. And about another question, Aero sensei died during the battle with pain. Akemi answered, becoming even more gloomy in the end. Minato, hearing this, also became gloomy. Dad, okay, Akemi encouraged. And she noticed that her dad was starting to disappear, and hugged him tighter, the man also hugged him. At that moment he became intangible. Goodbye dad slash daughter, they said and Minato disappeared. When the conversation ended, the blonde put on her super cheerful stupid mask and ran towards the group, Hagoromo, Kage, Team 7 and Bijou. Akemi, have you talked to your father yet? Why am I saying this? The sage asked Akemi and himself. And shaking his head, he thought, how difficult it is to talk to the current generation. Yes, super grandfather. The blonde answered with a smile, ignoring Hagoromo's last question. Akemi, please come to me. Everyone present heard the loud voice of Kurama. The one who was called asked forgiveness from the sage, who only told her to go there. What Kurama? The blonde asked, coming closer to the fox. Akemi, fist bump with me. The light, QB, answered, clenching his paw into a fist and extending his paw towards the girl. And Akemi also extended her fist and smiled brightly when the, QB, and the blonde bumped their fists, then Naruto began to shrink and shrink, after an instant he became the size of a soccer ball. When he completed this process, he flew into the girl's stomach in the form of a ball, or to be more precise, he began to be absorbed into the seal of the eight trigrams. Finally, I will become one with my other half, Akemi heard a joyful cry in her head, she heard this joyful cry and smiled softly. Once, you heard it, don't bother me, at least for seven minutes. Okay, Ku, the girl answered, through a mental connection. And returned to Hagoromo, 
who was talking with Sasuke Uchiha. Akemi, have you already talked to your friend? The sage asked, looking at the reincarnation of his daughter. Akemi nodded. After talking for another seven minutes. Now I figured it out, Azura in the world where Naruto was born is a guy, and in the world where Akemi was born, there is a girl. Hagoromo from the Naruto world stayed there. And Hagoromo from the Akemi world doesn't know Naruto in the full picture. He only knows details about Naruto, what Hagoromo from the Naruto world told him, details. Sasuke, what are you going to do now? Asked Hagoromo, the reincarnation of his son. Already disappearing. I will take over the world, kill the five Kage and the Bijou, and instill fear in all people, after which I will rule the world from the shadows. But first I will win Akemi and make her a sow to restore my Uchiha clan. I and my descendants will use it, he answered with madness. Hearing this, Hagoromo shuddered as he thought that the reincarnation of his son would not be like this. The sage could not return half of Sasuke's chakra, which is why he needed to believe in the reincarnation of his daughter and Naruto, he wanted to believe that the son of another Hagoromo would be strong. With these thoughts, he dissipated as his time in the world of the living ended. S. Sasuke. I knew you would betray us again. The blonde shouted that she was angry, especially when she heard the last sentence. Akemi, calm down, anger won't help you. I calmed the girl down, through a mental connection. Ku, how can I calm down here? Akemi continued to be angry. As soon as the blonde finished her speech, she heard a heavy sigh and Akemi noticed how the Kyubi chakra began to pour out of her stomach. Chakra took the form of a guy who looked 19 to 20 years old, with red eyes that had a vertical pupil. Red hair that reaches her shoulder blades is tied in a high ponytail. There were two braids that framed the face, the braids reached the lower back. He had aristocratic features. He had a toned, lean body, 178 centimeters tall, and was 12 centimeters taller than yellow-haired. He was dressed in hakama. As soon as he completely took the form of a man, he gently hugged the blonde, calming her down. Picture at the end of the part. Well, well, no need to be angry. This won't help you at all. Or do you want to become like this stupid Yudiha, the guy said calmly, continuing to hug the girl. Yellow-haired and black-haired were surprised to see a handsome guy instead of a fox, but a light lit up in Achihanurika's eye with the Rinnegan. Trying to capture scarlet hair in an illusion. Stupid brat, do you think you can take control of me? Ha ha ha, you're just an offended girl who can't even understand her own brother who proved many times that he did not choose the path of destruction of the Uchiha clan, but simply carried out orders. He wanted peace, not by instilling fear in people. Naruto spoke calmly and mockingly. Which made Uchihanyuri blush with anger, just as his pink-haired skin also turned red with bursting anger. But the blonde calmed down and looked at scarlet hair. Karama? Like this? More or less, the blonde asked calmly, frowning into Karama's eyes. Without noticing a couple of skins and a moron. And Akemi-chan, I always had this form. I just couldn't use it because I was split into two parts. But you still have about two-fourths of my chakra. But D, he was interrupted by the skin of a moron, who was about to hit the fox, because of this, he grabbed her by the face, destroying the power of the hundred seal and released the remaining chakra from her seal, also destroying her brain, and throwing it at ten kilometers from herself, and while she was flying, her body exploded, or rather the seal on her large forehead. He left only the bija chakra, and took the sage's chakra and his own. He has three types of chakra, so he can also combine it without harm. Perhaps, I'll explain about chakras. The sage's chakra is the powers of the yin and yang seals, but for Naruto, and now he can produce it himself. The biju chakra, for Naruto, is Karama's chakra, which he considers his own but prefers to call it biju chakra. 
Own chakra is the chakra that he himself had before turning into a bijou. I didn't let the garbage get close. Naruto said calmly, not even looking in the direction where he threw pink haired. Why did you do this? Akemi asked calmly, also not looking in the direction where Sakura was flying. Yes, she already pissed me off. This skin beat you, screamed, hated and cried to you, about the fact that you need to save Sasuke Uchiha. Answering and listing the reasons for Pink Hair's murder of Kurama. To this, Yellow Hair nodded, immediately forgetting about skin and its existence. Forgot about the other bijou, they were sealed by the Rinnegan and one half chakra was taken by Sasuke. Ku, what will happen to Sasuke? Akemi asked, not caring about Sasuke at all. Ooh, I'll kill the black-haired moron who wanted to use your body and also sealed my brothers and sister. Scarlet-haired answered grinning, he was not going to waste much time. The blonde nodded. How did you not fall into Sasuke's illusion? Also, why don't you take more of your chakra? Akemi asked two questions. Didn't fall into the illusion because? This is my secret, Naruto answered with a sigh. Why don't I take more of my chakra? 2. Why do I need more power? This one is enough for me. Answered the questions, smiling at Naruto. Ku, yellow-haired wanted to say something, but was interrupted. Call me Naruto, scarlet-haired said, continuing to smile. Okay, can I shorten your name to Naru? Akemi answered and asked Naruto. He nodded. In ten minutes, I'll come with the corpse of the last Uchiha. Scarlet Hair said as he walked away from Sasuke, whom he grabbed by the face at his speed. The yellow-haired girl and Kakashi started talking and she realized that he was being forced not to train Team 7 especially Akemi. And when Blonde was little, they didn't let her look after her teacher's daughter. He also said that Tsunade was not given full power, and the woman was made Hokage to hide the true power, at the hands of Hamura, Koharu and Danzo. When he finished and was about to say something else, Naruto appeared with the lifeless body of Uchiha. Naru, you came with Sasuke. The blonde said noticing the scarlet-haired girl, stood up with a smile, and Kakashi also stood up. Hello, Kyubi-san. Ashair said as he bowed to Naruto. Yes, I came. And hello Kakashi, call me Kurama. And yes, Akemi, everything that Kakashi told you is true, I can confirm. Answered Akemi's question and greeted Kakashi. He didn't want him to call him by his name, only his Jinchuriki could call him Naruto or Nero. When he said this name, the blonde looked at him strangely, but then shook her head and did not say anything. What will we tell Grandma? Akemi asked. Hmm, Tsunade, we'll say that Sasuke and Sakura died at the hands of the Kyubi, why invent something? Crimson-haired answered without really thinking, for which he received strange looks. Would that be stupid? And will our reputation plummet to the bottom? The blonde asked, looking strangely at the bijou, and Kakashi nodded, who also looked strangely. It's not stupid, but I'm too lazy to think about something. I want to sleep. Naruto answered, in the end word by letter, saying every word. About reputation. I don't care, I seem to have lived with a bad reputation throughout my life. We don't. Said Ash Haird. For which I received a sigh. And I'm still interested in the question. Akemi, wasn't it you who wanted to become Hokage? Kakashi-sensei, I will answer your question. No. I didn't want to become Hokage. And this was a mask so as not to become a brainwashed fool. Answered the question of his father's student Akemi. Basically, yes. Intruded into the conversation between a student and a mentor. But, you are still such a bomb of emotions. Naruto. The blonde said gloomily. What about me? Okay, I'll go free my brothers and sister. The guy said with a sigh. How do you do this? For this you need the Rinnegan. Akemi asked, looking incredulously into the eyes that fascinated her. 
This is a secret, it's too early for you to know. Let's pass, I'll go and destroy Uchiha's body, Biju answered as he left, you'll talk. I will deal with other problems, but Akemi-chan will help me dispel Tsukuyumi. These were the last words before nine tails and two fox ears on his head appeared behind him. Instantly it caught fire and disappeared in red flames. I don't want Naruto to have bunny ears, that's why he has fox ears. And the student and her mentor began their conversation. Kakashi said that the Kanoha Council forced Tsunade to take Sakura as a student and transfer to her the secrets of the Power of the Hundred, Pachati. And give her the above-mentioned contract for summoning slugs. Kakashi-sensei, how do you know this? Asked Yellow-haired, who was listening to the teacher's story. Tsunade told me this and I attended the council. If you ask why I didn't interfere. The answer is simple. I do not have the power and strength to fight with the root and the subordinate advisors of the Hokage. Also with Tsunade and other shinobi who were dissatisfied with the power of the advisors. Ash said with a sigh, and Akemi nodded as a sign of understanding. After that, they continued their conversation, finishing talking on the topic closest to the previous conversation before the fox arrived. They began to think about what to say to the Kage. Kakashi-sensei, still, let's think about what we'll say to the Kage. The blonde said, to which her teacher nodded. Yes, Kurama-san, it turns out he's lazy about such topics or not. Let's skip it and start thinking about a plan. Kakashi asked and missed his own question, and Akemi nodded. Then what will be the story for the five Kage? Yellow-haired said. And Ash and Blonde began to think. I think it's better to tell the Kage that they died during the battle with Kagaya, since none of the Kage knows the true power of the Mother of the Sage of the Blessed Paths, Hataki said after thinking. Yes, it's better than what Kurama put forward. Let's just say that Sasuke died from an ashen bone, which he did not notice, and Sakura died saving Sasuke from the bone, but the bone pierced her and Uchiha. And these ashen bones can completely destroy a person's body, without a trace. What if they say how did you seal it? 2. We were able to seal it, but Kagaya released the bone before sealing it. Akemi added to the story, and Kakashi nodded. Having finished thinking through the story for the Kage, they continued their conversation. About 10 minutes later, after the end of the topic, they discussed what they would tell the Kage, and they would tell the shinobi world. Scarlet hair appeared. And on its tails lay many versions of the bijou. If you look at the guy, you can understand that he is unhappy with this situation. Akemi-chan, come here. Naruto said, continuing to tease with the ending, Chan, which of course infuriated the girl, but she was not going to express it. And you, leave me. The guy said, looking at the animals on their tails. Akemi obediently approached Scarlet-haired. And the Biju also moved away from their older brother, afraid of getting hit on the head. Akemi-chan, you will help me dispel Tsukuyumi. Naruto said, looking at yellow hair, who nodded silently. And she also quietly approached scarlet-haired. Well, Akemi-chan, there's no need to be so quiet. Naruto said, looking at the girl who for some reason was silent. For me to start speaking, Stop adding, Chan, to my name. Akemi answered quietly. Okay, Akemi. Scarlet-haired blonde replied to the answer. Removing the Chan from Akemi's name, since he knew how stubborn the Uzumaki were, after all, there were two more Uzumaki in him before yellow-haired. And Naruto, how many women have you slept with? Then let's go. Ignoring Akemi's question, considering this question inappropriate. Ha, huh, I slept with ten women. Naruto said mentally. Naru, why don't you answer? Scarlet-haired blonde asked naively. Well, why do you need to know this? The guy asked in response. You can't answer a question with a question. Yellow-haired answered, please answer. Akemi started whining. Ah, why, I have such an obsessive jinchuriki. Biju said sighing. 
for which he received a frown, because he was more cute. She also pouted her lips and cheeks, okay, hamster. So to speak, I had sex with five women, and in total I did it ten times. Without any embarrassment, answered the fox. Not really appreciating that he said this to a sixteen-year-old girl. Hearing the answer, Akemi blushed and blinked, fell silent again, and began to ask herself who was pulling her hair. Ha ha ha, no need to make such a face. What was not possible? Scarlet hair asked, laughing, looking at yellow hair, who was the color of a pomodoro. No no. Why were you doing this? Continuing to blush blonde. Let's say four times, ordinary girls came to me who died after that. But five is the famous Mito Uzumaki, with whom I worked six times. After Hashirama's death. Naruto answered. And come on, don't ask such questions, such questions make you blush. From here, we used Tsukuyami cancellation. Scarlet haired said. Okay, Akemi answered, realizing that there was no need to ask such questions. Now, I'll tell you what seals you need to fold. Time pass. A whole three years have passed, there have been no special events. Five Kage accepted the story of Kakashi and his only student. Two months after the end of the war. Tsunade resigned as the fifth Hokage, announcing that the new Hokage would be the student of the fourth, Kakashi Hataki. About the attitude of Naruto and Akemi, there was a shift, the yellow-haired girl began to consider Naruto her best friend or boyfriend, she herself did not yet understand how to relate to this fox. Naruto didn't really take anything, he was too lazy to do anything. Because of this, he slept on the bed that Akemi created for his human form. He usually slept naked, he didn't care at all that she was embarrassed. Naruto believed that if he slept naked, he felt more free. He never let the blonde see his device. But the fact is that Naruto has love feelings for yellow hair. Akemi was now in Konoha, which had become purer after Danzo's death and after the fourth shinobi world war, Koharu, and Hamura left their posts. They were killed just a month after the posts were given. Which made scarlet-haired laugh for a long time. Now the blonde was going to talk with Naruto about the same topic. This topic is who this fox is. In the evening, she entered the subconscious. When she entered her consciousness, she walked towards the room where that orange lazy but was. No need to ask why Naruto in human form doesn't have orange hair. Over the course of three years, Akemi has only gotten prettier and changed her shorts to an orange knee-length skirt. To her surprise, he was in human form wearing different clothes than last time. During her visits to him, he always wore the same clothes as when he first appeared before her. The new clothes looked like a dark red shirt that was unbuttoned. She was wearing a black t-shirt underneath. Black denim pants with pockets. Black sneakers with laces. I don't care if there are sneakers in the Naruto world or not. Perhaps, Akemi, I understand that you want answers to questions, Scarlet Hair asked more assertively. Yes, Naruto. I want answers to all my questions. The yellow-haired one responded, flaring up and asserting the statement of her pet bijou. Okay, I'll answer them if I have answers to them. Thank you, so the first question is, who are you? The answer is outrageously simple. I am Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze or Kyubi no Yoko, and also Kurama no Yoko. Also the son of Hagoromo Atsutsuki, better known as the Sage of the Six Paths. Okay, but why Uzumaki and Namikaze? Why Uzumaki? Hmm, so I am a member of this clan, although the head of the clan is more appropriate. Namikaze just like Minato Namikaze, my father but I consider the sage of the six paths more to be my father. Like this? Ah, uh, I'm Naruto or your alternative from another world. How is this from another world? How, how, my father moved me into this world? Why didn't super grandfather sage tell you about this? 
My father is from my world, and this Hagoromo, I can consider him a father. But he's different. I think I understand. Come on, second question. He probably isn't like that anymore, I don't care. I shortened the text, otherwise I would have died while I was writing this. More precisely, I removed the description of emotions or anything else after the dash. Perhaps the second question is, how did you become a fox? I was also made a fox, father. Okay, I won't ask other questions on this topic. Third, who really did you sleep with? I admit, yes, those whom I called lies. These were ordinary whores from brothels. Sigh, fourth, who do you love as a relative? Akemi asked, a question quite interesting for her. Who does he love? I'll ask him about the girl later. As a relative, I consider, Minato, Kushina, Jiraiya, Kakashi, Orochimaru, Hashirama, Tobarama, Hagoromo, all the bijou from their world and the bijou from this world. She was lost in thought when Naruto spoke and didn't hear that she wasn't on this list. Fifth, do you have a physical and chakra improved genome? I have physical and chakra improved genomes. Physical, Sharingan with the stage of eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and Rinnegan with seven tomo. Chakras, wood style, inferno style, red flame style or, more clearly, the flame of chaos, it was invented by me for Naruto, magnetism style, steam style, lava style. I prefer to call elements styles. Surprised look, hmm, you have a lot of genomes. Let's continue, sixth, can we be considered relatives? Yes. Okay, why exactly? We were born, one might say, from the same parents. Seventh and last, who do you love as a girl? The blonde asked her most expected question. She was overwhelmed. Whom I love? Akemi Uzumaki Namikaze, Naruto answered all questions honestly. Hearing the answer to Scarlet Hair's last question, the girl blinked her eyes in surprise and blushed. What? Akemi squealed questioningly and Naruto grinned. What, what, over your shoulder? I heard it, then I understood it. Biju answered. And doesn't this bother you? Asked Yellow-haired, red as a lobster. No, Scarlet-haired answered, calmly. The girl continued to blush. Okay, Akemi said, sighing heavily, then since you're so unembarrassed, I'm trying to say it without embarrassment. The girl said, a little embarrassed, that I love you. Akemi said having decided and decided. For now, she was saying this. Scarlet hair released some chakra in reality. Naruto bared his teeth and sharply moved towards the blonde's face, pressing his lips, insatiably and persistently. Why did the blonde's eyes widen, surprise in her eyes? For a couple of seconds, she had a short circuit, but was able to overcome this short circuit and began to respond. Akemi, it's time for you to come to reality. Scarlet Hair said, looking at his jinchuriki after he parted his lips with her. Thinking about breaking it off. She didn't have time to say anything before she was thrown out of her own subconscious. She had already woken up from meditation in reality. You broke it, you bastard, thought the blonde. It's okay, I'm not a bastard, she heard Biju's voice in the room, looking there she saw Scarlet Haired. So what do you want? Naruto grinned and looked at her like she was lunch. Why, she shuddered. Ah, I'm about to be raped. Yellow-haired screamed. Bijou grinned at this. Um, don't you want to do this now? I see it in your eyes. The guy continues to grin, saying that this blonde cannot deceive him, he can read it like an ordinary book that he has learned from cover to cover. Although there are definitely moments when he doesn't understand her, she's too unpredictable. So what? Akemi answered, starting to blush even more. Naruto, without allowing the yellow-haired girl to come to her senses, grabbed her by the cheeks and covered the younger Uzumaki's mouth, and grabbed her lips. The girl, who did not even expect such actions, froze, 
but after a couple of seconds she was able to come to her senses and answer, after a little more time, she gave in as Al Harry was more experienced than her. He threw her onto the bed. I feel like a pedophile. Although I am one now. Naruto thought and put two fingers there, index and ring. He began to yellow-haired, causing the said one to moan into Scarlet-haired's mouth. He detached his lips from hers and without waiting, he bit into her neck, causing the girl to begin to moan louder. The Scarlet-haired man took off her shirt and t-shirt, and having taken it off, he threw the clothes into the corner of the room. Her thoughts on this topic are over, Nehru? The blonde asked quietly. Hearing his Akemi's words, he realized what the question was. Clones, Scarlet-haired answered, the girl felt. She'll wake up in about ten minutes. Naruto thought as he emerged from the seal in the form of a kitsune. In this form, he has two red fox ears on his head, which are pressed against his head, hidden between his hair. Behind, there were nine fox tails, they were red. The tails could be extended, which he used during Shreks to wrap around Akemi. He appeared with the clothes he first wore to Akemi during the Fourth Shinobi World War. He can create any clothes on himself. Scarlet-haired, melts and absorbs clothes from his chakra. Just like it's his chakra and no one else's, although Akemi has some power over it. I'll answer the question. Where does Naruto get it from? Milk? He creates it from chakra, this milk does not have the function of transmitting genetic code. He removed the blanket that covered the almost naked blonde, whose only clothing was now a skirt, and saw that all the semen had already poured out. Having removed the blanket, he covered her with four of his tails, and himself with the rest, and hugged Akemi, holding her to him as the most precious thing in his life, if you think about it that way, it was. Eleven minutes later, after Scarlet Hair's actions, Blonde began to wake up. Opening her eyes, Akemi immediately saw a scarlet-haired guy with closed eyes on his head, there were two fox ears, red. Only when a minute had passed did Akemi move away from the events of the night. She looked at what she was covered with and saw red fluffy. Tails. Seeing the tails, she immediately wanted to touch them. Which is what she did, grabbing one of the tails. They were soft and fluffy, just as the blonde had expected. After twelve seconds, stroke the tails. She heard fidgeting and looked at their source to see the one who had taken her innocence. That he stood up and looked at her sleepily. Long yawn, oh, Akemi, you're awake. I was wondering when you would wake up. The guy said, bluffing. Of course, he didn't sleep, but only pretended and didn't think, Naruto was waiting for his blonde to wake up. Naruto. Akemi shouted, looking at Scarlet-haired. No need to shout like that. How many times have I told you that you don't need to scream? Naruto said, trying to calm the girl down. Naruto, I don't care about that. I care that you came inside me. Blonde screamed in response. Why worry? Seriously, there won't be any special consequences. By type of pregnancy. The guy answered with a calm expression on his face. Like this? Akemi answered with a frown, but the frown only made her cuter. Don't interrupt me yet, I'm speaking. And if you interrupt, I'll crush you into a state of complete submission. Agreed? Scarlet Hair asked, warning her, of course, he was not going to do this. In response, the girl began to nod. So, my seed does not have the function of transmitting genetic code, since I am a mass of chakra that does not have genetic data. And I create it from my chakra, Naruto explained. I I see, Akemi said, looking down a little, having understood, she already said it when she understood Scarlet Hair's words. Don't, they're afraid, come to me, I don't bite. Naruto said, opening his arms for a hug, and the blonde, after thinking for a second, entered the hug. And she just realized that she was naked, and the only clothing she was wearing was a skirt, which made her start to blush. Scarlet Hair's hand squeezed her breast, causing her to moan quietly. 
Nero, Akemi said a little plaintively, she had not yet recovered from the night. Okay, let's not do this, you better rest. My chakra won't help you. You need to completely regenerate yourself, or things won't be too good for you. Yes, I know, stupid excuse, Naruto replied as he released the blonde's breasts. Hmm, what should you wear? Thank you for that. What to wear? I'll put on the same clothes, just a different set, I have a lot of them. Answered the last question, Akemi. Then get dressed. Scarlet haired said. Won't you be in print? The girl asked, looking at the guy who had no intention of moving into the print space. No, I'm going to go for a walk, otherwise you won't let me at least take a walk in freedom. Naruto answered casually, and Akemi, hearing the answer to the question, panicked and became despondent, realizing that she was no better than the previous Jinchuriki. Scarlet hair. Guy, noticed this. Well, well, don't do that. Everything is fine. Naruto said encouragingly, realizing what the blonde was thinking about. Akemi cheered up a little. Let's go take a shower, otherwise you smell. Hearing this, the girl blushed, without waiting she quickly ran into the shower, from where she came out half an hour later, already dressed. So what do you want to do today? Scarlet hair asked, looking at his blonde. She thought about it. I'll go to Ichiraku and eat ramen. The blonde answered, Naruto's face twisted into a dissatisfied grimace from the answer. You won't go to any Ichiraku. Scarlet hair said, frowning at her. I still missed what you ate, this ramen. Although your body is accustomed to ramen, I'll tell you what I said about food. Which are dying for you, said Kushina. Naruto said sternly, Akemi, hearing the words, twisted, she wanted ramen, it was not for nothing that the blonde considered ramen the food of the gods. But, the blonde wanted to say something, but scarlet hair interrupted her. None, but. Naruto said firmly. Your mother wanted you to eat right, but ramen is a bad diet. You've been eating noodles and ramen almost your entire life. And now that I'm free I'm not going to tolerate you using it. Listening to this, Akemi heard care and concern in the guy's words, which is why she realized that he truly loves her. Okay, then what should I eat? She asked, giving up. I will teach you and prepare you. The guy answered, but first, let's go to the store to buy groceries. I'll answer right away, I'll go with you in uniform without tails and ears. I got it. Akemi said for a moment and Naruto took her wrist and they flew out of the house. Scarlet Hair did this because he wanted to taste the taste of food, he had not eaten for twenty years, but only fed on chakra. The blonde even managed to squeak as they found themselves on the street and after a couple of seconds, a couple could be seen at the market. Many residents in the market looked strangely at the scarlet haired couple who was dragging the Hokage apprentice. Naruto led the blonde through the shops, buying various products from vegetables to meat. Akemi had a question about where he got so much money. The scarlet-haired man, touching the products, sealed them in a seal on his palm, he made this seal for storing items. He created it in the last world. That's where he took the money, and there was a lot of it, about 100 million. Naruto didn't really count how much there was, and he didn't need to. After walking around the shops a little more, a detachment of five umbu appeared in pairs, they came because they saw scarlet hair in the village for the first time, dragging the heroine of the elementary nations. I like to call the shinobi world, elemental nations. Scarlet haired. Who you are? Apparently the head of the detachment asked, looking at scarlet haired. And hello Akemi-sama. Hello. This scarlet-haired one is called Kurama. And go away, we don't need anything, the blonde answered and said when Naruto stopped. Hi, they said to the umbu, without asking questions, they left. Akemi, we bought everything, let's go to your apartment. Scarlet-haired said after a couple of minutes, having bought the last product. And after these words, the couple disappeared in red flames. 
Naruto didn't care at all that the people of Konoha were looking at them strangely. Akemi didn't say anything while jogging because she was completely new to cooking and didn't know a single recipe. After using the spatial technique, Naruto was accompanied by a strange feeling for her. For almost two days, Scarlet Haired taught his blonde how to cook properly, taught him various recipes and other information. Akemi had studied pretty well all the knowledge that the guy had hammered into her head. But the blonde still has a long time to learn and study. Two days had already passed since Akemi and Naruto's first sexual encounter. And the guy knew that she had recovered. During these days he slept in bed with her. The blonde had not been tired all day, which is why Naruto decided to fuck her again. And Akemi also wanted to, he knew her well. It's night now. Because of what, already when the girl took off her clothes to put on her pajamas. He abruptly threw her onto the bed and pressed Akemi's lips into hers. That's the end of the story.